If you've got a bottle of brandy in the cupboard and you don't know what to do with it, here's a cocktail that is delicious. Keep watching on Let's Talk Drinks. Hi everybody, so I wanted to do a cocktail made with brandy. And my all-time favorite cocktail book is The Joy of Mixology by the late and great Gaz Regan. Um, really do miss chatting to you, Gaz. I'm gonna do a video soon with a bunch of cocktails that is in your Joy of Mixology book, but this is one that I've sort of read. I thought, oh, I really need to try it. It was created by Robert Hess. Robert Hess is a legend in the industry. Um, he's done fantastic things. He's got some great books himself out. And this, this was created in Seattle in 2000. And the first ingredient that it calls for is 60 mils or two ounces of brandy. Now I'm going to use an Australian brandy. It's a beautiful craft brandy. It is by 23rd Street Distillery. I love that they've done a brandy because brandy for me is one of the most underrated spirits uh, on the back bar. And I tell you what, I hope that I have enough because this stuff is really popular at the 18th and I have just had enough there. There you go, 23rd Street Distillery, another bottle kill. The next ingredient it calls for is 30 mils or one ounce of a dry vermouth. I'm using the Noily Pratt today. Then 15 mils or half an ounce of Cointreau. And last but not least, two dashes of Angostura bitters. Do a little bit more. If you're using the Angostura bottle itself, two is plenty. I'm gonna add some ice to that and give it a stir down. So if you haven't got the book, The Joy of Mixology, there is an updated edition. Get out there and buy it. I'm not sponsored or anything like that, but honestly, it's got everything that you need to know and learn about cocktails. The man who wrote it is, is my favorite legend in the industry. Hopefully some royalties will go to his wonderful wife, Amy, if you're watching. I miss you. I'm gonna get out to America um, next year, okay? They're about to open up the borders. When I come to New York City, I'll make sure that I'll come and visit you and say hi. Never tried this. Uh, I'm totally intrigued by it, so it's gonna be great to see what it tastes like for the first time on camera. Okay. As always, I make sure that I chill down my glassware as well. So I don't want a nice, cool cocktail going to a warm glass. I'll tell you what, just get away with a coupette or a martini glass as well. For the garnish, just an orange twist. I think I'm going to just twist and discard this time. This is the Black Feather Cocktail. Cheers. Yum. <laughs> um, super boozy, right? Like this is just got so much alcohol in it, but you can't tell. It's very well balanced. It's complex. I'm getting the brandy. Absolutely, it's coming through. The 23rd Street uh, Distillery brandy is definitely the hero in this cocktail, but um, that dry vermouth is giving, drying out the cocktail a little bit. Uh, the Cointreau is adding that orange element and the sugar, so it balances off really well. The bitters, just ties everything together. You know, like bitters, I've said it a million times on my videos, it's like adding salt and pepper to your cooking. Great to use bitters in a cocktail. That's a very, very tasty drink. I'm happy with that. I couldn't drink a lot of them though, um, because I would end up on my backside. But what I love about this cocktail too, is it, it, it's got a dry finish. So really well balanced, get a little bit of dryness towards the end which automatically makes me want to have another sip. And that's great for me, for friends or for customers, because the more that they drink it, the quicker they get through it and they'll order another one, right? Mm. Robert Hess, you are a legend. Gaz Regan, you too. Please like, subscribe, check out the Joy of Mixology book, guys, and we'll see you again soon on Let's Talk Drinks.